Yes. Welcome back, everybody, Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go uh, probably travel south uh, this time uh, to Trader Gin, down to the larger town uh, where we have lots of gasoline, and see if we can get some quests going from her. I'm going to take a look at Trader Bob again, though, too, because it's the next day, and perhaps he has reset. Uh, I just got back from the garden down by the lake, and I keep having to fill those back um, furrows with water, so... Uh, let's go ahead and uh, purify this uh, next. Uh, actually, we need to do murky water and we need to do the buckets. So I got 20 murky water plus another 15, I think, in the bin. So, you know, we're finally starting to get some jars back. We still don't have any, anything close to an abundance of them, though. So it looks like we need about seven-ish minutes. Let's just do eight to finish all those out. That's good. Um, I got some, you know, reasonably good loot. Um, after I left you guys yesterday, but nothing to write home to mother about, so to speak. So I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, bother, you know, recording any of that. So, uh, I think the best thing we found is we did actually find a red iron fire axe, which, you know, is pretty good, but otherwise it was, you know, it's good stuff, but nothing, nothing super awesome. So, okay, let's, uh, we got to refill our bug trap too. And then we're going to head on down and talk to Trader Jin. And whilst... We're down there. Uh, we're going to get some gas, uh, quite a bit of gas, too. Okay, so I think we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, let's get everything back on our toolbars. So let's see, that goes in three, four, that, there. Um, oh, we need medical. Yeah, so um, We actually can make the big stuff now, too. Let's see, what does it take to make those? So, yeah, it's it's all the same stuff that Vanilla does. Yeah, let's do that. I've, I've been accumulating all this stuff, right? So we got uh, blood bags there. We got uh, grain alcohol there. Um, let's see, what else did it say? It needed sewing kits. So let's grab 20 sewing kits. And... Oh, and like normal bandages. Okay. So we have... Four, uh, 14 of those, so let's make six more of those. I think we can actually make those in our inventory, believe it or not. One of the very few things in this game, or rather this mod, that you can. Okay, so we need to make six more of these. We're getting kind of low-ish on cloth. Not terribly low, but low-ish, so we might want to start hanging on to some of that as we come across it. All right, so we should have 20... We have 22 of those. That's okay. Let's just make 20 in total. All right. Look at that, man. Four full stacks of large medikits. It's a beautiful thing. We don't need nowhere near that much coal in here. Um, here. Put one piece of coal in there. There we go. Okay. If you guys are wondering why I use coal to... To, you know, as fuels because I just got so much of it, you know, and it's obviously better than the other stuff. Uh, we got nine steroids that we're going to take with us, too. I did actually, when I got back to the loot uh, yesterday after I left you guys, I did go ahead and actually take a steroid. I should have done that earlier, but, you know, sometimes I just don't think about that stuff. Uh, okay, so we've got eight coffee for beverage. And, you know, these these uh, barricades are becoming less and less useful because, you know, we're getting into zombies that could just one-shot those. So I'm starting to think maybe what we ought to do is carry some flagstone blocks around with us. Um, the only problem with that, though, is it's going to consume jars. Because we need mortar and mortar consumes jars. Ah, shit. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, the other thing we could do, I guess, is put wood frames down and just upgrade them. Let's, let's try something here. Let's try something here really quick. I'm going to grab my hammer out of here. Oh, we got some stuff we need to sell, too. I think I looked at this early on, but I just can't remember what's better. Um, you know, the, 
the downside to doing the upgrade thing is we got to carry a hammer and wood with us, which we normally don't do. Okay, so that's got 225 hit points. That's got 100. So this is this going to be better, of course. But I don't know, maybe maybe what we do, and we, I've already done this a couple times, is put two of those down. It's still not going to be quite as tough as this. Oh, no, wait, I'm not thinking correctly. This is 225, but then they... You know, but then they break it, and then they have another 225 that they have to actually get through. So, yeah, the block is actually quite a bit better than these. So, yeah, I think it's time, guys, to retire the barricades. The other good thing about that is I'm, I can just start breaking them off of boxes instead of ripping them off, and that'll save some time when, with looting. And, um, but it is going to take up... I guess just one more slot, because these will take the place of the barricades, but we also are going to have to carry the hammer with us, too. Okay, so if that's what we're going to do, um, I'm going to grab a full stack of wood. I'm going to grab nails, and we're going to just make a shit ton of frames. Um, oh, actually, let's make them in here. We'll get more bang for our buck. Okay, so let's get those going. Um, yeah, we we need to we need to take the wood with us in order to upgrade them, not necessarily necessarily to repair them. Because if we repair them, then we also got to carry nails, which I'm not going to do. That's just taking too many slots up in our extremely limited inventory that we have. Uh, all right, let's uh, do this, this, and this, and we might even put the hammer down here because we'll probably use it more than we will the wrench. And we got the wood. Uh, we'll get, we got the frames going here. So uh, what I'm going to do, what is this doing? Oh, this has been working on ammo stuff. Okay. Let's get some more clay cooking up in this guy. I started getting low on clay. I pretty much run that thing nonstop. You know, I have never probably shouldn't say this because I'm going to jinx myself, but I've never had a screamer come to this base. We had, you know, we've had to deal with them out in the field, of course, but not to this base. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, Repair-wise, these guys are okay. They're not in the best condition, but they're okay. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're ready to go. So let's just grab these. Stack of 103 is good enough. Good enough. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to jump on the bike and we are going to go... Well, actually, no. Hold on. Start. Stop, stop, stop. Let's grab all of this shit here. And let's go sell these this stuff to Trader Bob and see if he has new quests for us. And then we'll go down to Trader Jane if he does not. Okay, so we're up to, to uh, 32,000 and, and change. Uh, which is really good. We've already looked at his inventory for this week. Um, we talked about this, but the problem with this is that I need the bench to actually make it, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, all right, let's take a look now. at his um, inventory. Or, I'm sorry, sorry, not his inventory. See if he has any. Come back soon. See if he has any jobs for us. Office. Okay, so he. Oh, good, he does. He's got a tier three fetch only to the northwest. So that's going to be in the desert. But that's okay. I think you can help me with a problem. Pre-trader? Oh, no, that's that same damn place, isn't it? But if we only have to do a fetch, though... Yeah, let, hmm. <laughs> let's try it. If it's just a fetch, we might be able to pull it off. Plus, I got two stacks of explosives this time instead of one. Um, all right, let's see. Let me look at something here really quick. I've got, I've got, um, okay, I got a cooling mesh mod there. Uh, the puffer coat gives us, we, we should go get our, our, our duster <clears throat> if we're going to go into the desert. So I think between, you know, the duster and the cooling mesh mod, we should be okay on temperature there. All right, I'm having a terrible time with uh, my directions, it seems, for these quests. This one's not in the desert at all. <laughs> in fact, it's just right down the road from the from the other one that we had so much fun with last couple episodes ago. Okay, so 
Um, let's deal with this guy first. He's been dealt with. Okay, so this is just a fetch. We don't have to clear every Zeke out of this place. Um, and it looks like it's going to be way over to that direction. So let's just do this. Right in here. I think we're right in the wall there. Okay, we got a couple Zikaroos in there and they're feral. Um We only have three hundred hit points. So they're very weak. Okay, well, um, are they both feral? Oh, we got a zombie exploder. You, lovely. All right, let's just do this and get ready to get the hell out of here. There we go. Easy as pie, man. Easy as pie. It must be my lucky day. Thank you. And here you go. Automatic weapons have 20% less degradation. I will take that. Even though the, these are worth a lot. Um, I was just thinking about how quickly my my assault rifle is, is degrading. Okay. Uh, new drops. You have another fetch to the northeast. That one is going to be in the desert. Uh, a little predicament. Could you help, traveler? Okay, and since we're dressed for the desert, let's do it. I'm going to stop off at the base and just unload the inventory, and I'll meet you guys um, at the place, which is going to be right up here. Let's stop off at uh, Trader Joel first before we go do the quest and just see what he has in his inventory. Okay, secret stash first. So he's got the chassis, and the other one's uh, the other one. Bob's got the parts. Um, I mean that that only cost us six thousand, and then we would just have to wait until we can build the the bench. But I don't know. I mean, nah. Let's hold off on that because we might end up finding them. Or yeah, I just I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, man. Got a yellow pistol. Yeah, you kind of have shit for inventory, buddy. This is kind of nice, but a bit expensive, and I'm sure we'll come across it come back eventually. Tomorrow. We get new goods I don't daily. think we have anything we want to sell to you. You have a great day now. Um, actually, what do you got for jobs? You've got a tier three fetch to the west, which is going to be back towards Trader Hughes Town. Uh, yeah. Can you do me a favor? Yeah, let's take that. God okay. bless you. Good luck. All right, let's go check out this lighthouse place. Never been in here. So this is going to be a brand new experience for moi. Um, let's see. We're going to put this down this time. Got to remember to do that, man. And then I have to remember to undo it once we get back to the base. Let's put the money away, and we want, we're going to, excuse me, we want the hammer. I don't think we need the shovel. And let's do this. Okay, so this is a fetch. Got to go upstairs. And we've got expl ooh, explosives in here. All right, let's go ahead and try our newfound barricade option. Can they get through the other side of that, though? Here, let's close that door. We'll just do it out here.
Where's my wood? Oh no, you know what? <laughs> I accidentally put the wood back. All right, let's cut a tree down. Now that isn't gonna, oh, shit, that isn't gonna work either because we need the workbench to actually turn it into boards. Oh, nice. Freaking Ravenhurst, man. All right, we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Is it just you that we've aggroed? Alright, well we got a twofer off of that deal. Let's see if we can get the biker. <laughs> oh, the, the landmine went off too. Hey, you know, whatever works, right? Whatever frickin' works. Okay. You've definitely woken up the house. He's feral. Okay, here he comes. It takes so long to kill these guys. Okay, let's save some ammo. Okay, I think it's calmed down now. Lots of stuff to loot in here. Someone else is coming up to give us a hassle. Let's deal with them. Okay, let's let's prioritize the satchel. We'll worry about the loot later. Looks like there's a decent amount of it in here, though. ready okay so we've got fatso there uh, but I don't know who else we have well, I guess we're gonna find out in here in a second aren't we any of those guys feral Oh yeah, land on the on the spikes. That's good. Okay, here. <laughs> Suckers. Okay, we still got some people that are a little riled up here. Settle down, everybody. That was great that they landed on the spikes, man. I didn't even intentionally cause that to happen, but I'm glad that it did. Okay, let's go up here. Satchel is in this room where the Zombo is doing their thing. You feral? Nope. Oh shit! Oh, that scared me. <laughs> that scared man. Okay, we got that done. Now let's let's just clear the rest of the place first before we start looting so that way we know we can loot in peace 
Is there another floor? There's the lighthouse itself. How do we get to the lighthouse? There's a crib. Hidden stash and a safe. Is that the actual fat loots? You did? Okay. Oh shit, we got the attention of a screamer. That's never a good thing. Ammo pile. Pretty decent stuff. I want to know how to get into the lighthouse, man. Alright, let's go back over here. See a way to get up there. We gotta get rid of that screamer. Not sure exactly where she's at. <laughs> okay, well here's what we're gonna do. Assuming this is the fat loot room, which I'm not convinced that it is, but assuming that it is, let's loot it first. Um, yeah, we already got those on. Pretty nice stun baton, man. Some nades and another loose seal. Okay. Is she just like right outside there to drop a pipe bomb on her head? Okay, this is locked or blocked rather. Oh, wow, look at that. I'll take it. Okay, let's cut through here. So how the hell do we get to the lighthouse? I mean, I know I can nerd pull up on the roof, but... You'd think there'd be a way to get to it from in here. Let's go back into this room. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we, that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go outside and nerd pull up on the roof. Looks like there's a plug here. Okay. Let's, um... Did we look in here? Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, that's metal? Yeah, this is this room. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Let's, um, go out here. Okay, let's be careful. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit, those are some big wings. Lucky for me, that thing's stuck in the in the roof. Hopefully it stays stuck in the roof. Oh. Okay, here. Let's go up here. Actually, let's There are There's some nasty zikaroos in here. All right, let's see if we can Pop a hole in here. Oh shit! Is it just you?
Will you just die? Holy shit. Oh, that does not look safe. That does not look safe. Um, can it actually get through the window? Here, we better take one of these. Okay, here. Let's go back to our first plan. He's not feral, at least. Hold still, shit! Okay, I think it's time to go. We, we accomplished our quest. I wanted, I wanted to get up at the lighthouse, man. Um, wonder how tough that bird is to kill. We need to get the screamers and everybody away from this place. I mean, it's hard enough dealing with the sleepers, but having screamers calling in extra hordes, nah, not a good idea. Oh shit! <laughs> they got us! That's alright, we took a shit ton of them out though. It was worth it. And plus our 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 bedrolls here anyway, so. Oh man! <laughs> love it. I love it. Okay. Um Wow, we parked right by our stuff. Is are they despawned? Oh they are! Wait, where's our... Wow! Okay. It's a damn good thing they did despawn because we're right next to where they were. Here, let's check these bags. Um, yeah, we got our, our luckies on. Oh my goodness, that was fun, man. Okay, we'll scrap you. Nah, oh wow, 11 steel. I'll take it. All right, let's throw back a couple hobos because we're going to need it. We probably got more XP from all those killing all those zombies than our deficit has. So, yeah. Um, all right. Here, let's pick this up. And what we're going to do is um, put a couple things in here. Now, we can put this close, uh, close by now. Let's just stick it right here. Okay. Now, I want to go back upstairs. I mean, we've got a whole bunch of looting to do in here, too. What? Why are all these guys back? That's like total hacks, man. Okay. It hasn't, like, completely repopped. Some bleeds on you. He's dead. Okay. Um, all right, what I want to do is 
see if we can get back up on the roof. Um, and I, I want to see if we can get into the lighthouse. We're probably still going to have to deal with that ginormous bird, though. I expect, you know, most of the sleepers up here have probably reset. Okay, make sure we're loaded up here. Animal Diamond Phoenix 666. There's a fat loot right there. <laughs> Did I kill the phoenix though? Um so we can get in there? <laughs> I think I think I might have actually blown myself up that time. Not the, I don't think the phoenix got us. I I wasn't paying real close attention there. All right, let's go back up there again. <laughs> now we got a really bad deficit on our XP. But oh, what the hell, man? We'll eventually get to the point where XP isn't going to ma make much difference anyway. And it's just kind of fun to explore. Oh, yep, there he is. He's dead. Can he be looted? Weird, man. Okay, let's go. Let's get our backpack. Can we loot this guy? Or harvest him? We're just getting feathers and rotten meat. Oh, man. Okay. Hopefully I didn't destroy all of the fat loots. Nope. I didn't think I destroyed any of them. Weird. Okay. Maybe these aren't the actual fat loots after all. Or maybe there was and I I ruined them. I don't know. Anyway, let's um do this. Because again, we're not worried about the barricades anymore. So now we can get into these a little more quickly. Oh, look at that. Steel. Steel uh, arrowheads. That's pretty nice. Um, I'm... I'm going to chuck the feathers. I normally wouldn't, but I've got more than uh, probably two or three full stacks back at the base. So we're going to do that. And um, we actually have some wood now. The light is pointing towards here. What about, what about the lighthouse, though? Well, here, let's go back up this way. We killed the phoenix, unless there's another one. Oh, this is the lighthouse. Okay. And. Oh, okay. Can't quite get up to that ladder. There's something up here. Another phoenix? That's just a normal vulture. All right, <clears throat> so there isn't really anything up here. Very cool POI, though. Just check and see if there's anything up in here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Is that bulletproof? Yeah. Where did he go? Oh, he's underneath now. Got him. Oh, well, there's a bird's nest up here. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, um, I think, I, I don't know if the safe was the fat loot's room or this attic with these boxes. I mean, we never found an actual iron chest unless 
like I said, there was actually one in here and I blew it up. Oh, there's another safe. So it could have possibly been in here. I don't know. But we have a lot of looting to do in this place. So, um, yeah, we're out of time, too, in our episode. So let's see. How do we want to play this? I think maybe what I'll do, you guys, is I'll loot it off camera but keep the recorder going and just show you if I get anything spectacular. Let's just do it that way, and then, you know, that way we can get through it. Let's see what's in here, though. That's pretty, pretty nice. I already have another blue club back at the base, too. So, yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to wrap it up here, but like I said, I'll keep the recorder going in case we... If I find something really good, I mean, you know, noteworthy, really good, I will add that on to the end of this episode for you guys to see. If I don't add anything on, then that means we just got, you know, run-of-the-mill stuff. Nothing, nothing worth writing home to mother about. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.